tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Me lord, jubilant day. I have found your vile self at last. Scaleritas fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> I was so worried for your health during our long separation. Now I've found you, silly me. <laughs> my fears were unfounded. You have kept killing without me. That will keep you fighting fit and healthy. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. My, my, we will be reintroducing necrophilia to your schedule in no time. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your... Dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Oh, it was wonderfully disgusting, wasn't it? Be true to yourself, my lord. Thoughts are back on the twisted Scaleritas and his honeyed words of violence. You called for me, my lord? Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, dear depraved one. We wouldn't want to wake the others. They would be so jealous. I come here, for I wish to bring you another powerful tithe. But I cannot grant you this prize quite yet. You must do something Divinely unspeakable first. <gasps> oh, the reward will titillate your twitching urge in preparation for the rest of your inheritance to come. You will receive a royal prize for killing this pretty girl. Isabel, the cleric with the sweetest face of the moon. She is too precious to live. Why? The greatest crime of them all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Fear not. Her death will fill an entire village with piles of bodies. You adore piles of bodies, Master. They have always been your favorite. Be true to yourself, my lord. Your stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. 
Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. She came all the way to this world just to die here. I won't lay so much as a talon on her. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. It will be the most perfect, most brutal death in your long career. Even from before your little indisposition. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little moon maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lord. Your mind is heavy. The devastation of last light is sure to pique the interest of the vile Scalaritas. Apologies for the tardiness, my festering liege. Ha! The cleric and last light, all are now but an ichored slag heap. And it was all your own work. You didn't even need your butler's advice. You have acted with the utmost decorum. First the bard, now this triumph. A part of your past is here for you. I come with your disgusting prize. This prize is no payment, but a sign of reverence towards you. Come closer, my depraved prodigy. Ah, try on your new gym jams. They're a present from father. It would be rude not to. Such a strapping young behemoth. <laughs> oh. You cannot speak, but you have command over your own cruelty. Oh, yes. Please, wondrous manslaughterer, kill me. a new, brighter, better Scaleritas into this world. You would be lost without your butler, but you shall never be without me. This form 
is the Slayer. You will do many naughty feats with it. Oh, I wish I had time to wax your hide and brush your spines. But your adoring butler must away. But you should be hopeful for your bright future. You are going to kill again soon. You will keep chopping down the Moon Maiden's family tree. I shall return when you next have need of me. I have your estate to attend to. We will meet again there. Good night, sweet master. Precious liege, look at you, all grown up and storming such a large tower, and with such wanton force. Oh, hmm. It is rather loathly of Scaleritas to disrupt your romp, but I cannot allow the master to forget duty and keep carousing like this. The Moon Maiden Isabel, she is all but alone now. I have been watching her. It will be easy. Her protectors have left. She thinks she can defend herself. <laughs> she cannot. Not against you. Be a goodly sinner and dash off to kill her post-haste. If you don't, I worry greatly for your future. Oh, do, do! If this frail carcass ever perishes, you will always be sent a fresh butler. We shouldn't let you get too distracted. Make sure you kill her afterwards. And soon. Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> triumph after triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your men. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. But why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Orin told me not to let you in. <laughs> but I'd never listen to the pretender to your fetid throne. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. No, 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 poor, poor master. Get up, please, please get up. If you don't get up, you will be disinherited! <laughs> Desecrate the pretender! Take vengeance! Oh, my 
I failed, Master. My heart has never known such sorrow. Now it breaks. He is near. He comes for you. Get up! Quit malingering in your red dreams. You have squandered your inheritance. Oaf! Baal slug. The Slayer is an ill-fitting suit, not tailored to that lazed body you have left to waste away. I will knock it away, perhaps never to be worn again. You should have stayed dead in the temple as Baal's ritual lamb, rather than bear the shame of crawling back to life after your defeat. Baal will never restore you, abortive spawn. <laughs> but the Lord's line cannot end. If you ever heed a single word from me, heed this. Go forth and breed widely. Sire a new legion and set them upon self-slaughter. Your fertile organ is now your sole weapon. Combined, potent worm and gravid womb may honor Baal's name. <laughs> you speak of the urge as if it were some enchantment or curse. My dear disgraced master, the urge is you. Now that you have failed Baal, the urge shall come calling to claim you, the moment that tadpole is not in your head. You will not be your clever self, murderous erudite. <laughs> Stupid, stupid bastard, orphan baby! When you have reached the depths of your lunacy, you shall reflect the time we spent together as your flower days. Ruined mind waxing ever red with less reason than a feral rattling crawling from ditch to sewer, suckling on your dagger's rust. It seems your cruelty was uninspired in the end. To call you master brings me shame. I am not needed. As you are disinherited, I have no leash to serve. A butler lives to serve. And as I can no longer serve, I will surely die, once and for all! 
not half as sorry as I, who lived for you alone. <laughs> Goodbye, master. They won't write books of you, but if they do, let history tell. Scalaritas fell, died of a broken heart. <laughs>